All right, something new for Overlander TV. Behind me is the Sapion, a 44-foot Benetau, uh, which is a brand of yacht, very good brand of yacht. And uh, here on the deck is Trull from Norway, the captain. He's busy at work. <laughs> How are you, Trull? <laughs> Hi there. So, so what's happening now is um, Trull has been sailing, and he was he was looking for someone to sort of help crew. So um, he's very, uh, I'm very lucky that he's offered me the place, even though I have no sailing experience. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. But we're, we've got, look at this yacht. It's a beautiful yacht. I'll, sh I'll show you through the inside of the yacht, but it's, it's a really beautiful lot. Let's go inside and have a look. So I'm now in the cockpit and I'm just going to show you around a little bit. We've got a great system here where we don't even have to go on the deck. You just uh, have the, the pulley system here to control all the sails, which is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Am I sounding like an expert, Trull? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, we're allowed to be an expert. <laughs> we're going to go down and have a look. But this, this boat holds about six people comfortably. Um, three bedrooms, three different... Yeah, with uh, shower living, and toilet each, each. Each with their own shower and toilet. So it's quite quite a great setup. And I'll, Let's go have a look. All right, so I'm downstairs now. So we've got a, a table there, a living area. Uh, your, radio, your radio area. On this side, we've got... Uh, fridge and freezer, little cooker, basin, hand basin, the master bedroom here for the for the captain, and towards the back, the first mate's <laughs> uh, quarters. Let's go in. Give you a quick little look, so you can see. There is the bed, and let me show you the toilet. So we're out on the open ocean, we're heading towards Key Corker. Uh, we're doing about six knots. Six and a half. Six and a half. The Scipion can do about eight, eight knots. That we did before. Yeah, so it does yeah. top speed about eight knots. Um, so we, we hit that, we had some good, good uh, westerly winds. Um, all going well, had a bit of a steer. So we turn a little bit to the north, so we are not going quite as fast. And it's interesting when you're steering, you've got a couple of things you've got to watch. The depth, the depth level, you've got to see how deep the ocean is. We were down to about four, four feet, is it? No, it's ten. No. Oh, four. We are out in the deep again. But is it You said open ocean. It's not open ocean. It's a very, very low. You can tell I'm, I'm, I'm new to uh, the sailing game, but learning fast. So, so that's in feet, is it, Paul? What me? Is it in feet? Yeah. Feet. So, so we so got the going to five feet again. Yeah. So your, your depth meter is in feet. You've also got uh, your speed in knots, and we've got a um, nautical miles. And we've got a, a GPS that we put in the the um, the points that we have to follow on the compass, and we work to that. So we you go from one point to the next, and you track according to those points, and then you just follow the GPS like following a road. I'll show you a shot of it in a sec. Let's go to the front of the boat. So just for those who don't know, your right side is the starboard. <laughs> the left side is the port. Um, the right side is green and the, the left side is red. So you've got your colours for both sides when boats are coming towards you to know how to, uh, to pass. The, the Genoa, the Genoa is the front. You can see there's a sail there at the front. That's called the Genoa. And of course, you've got your main sail. We've got both of them going and it all works through this pulley system where you pull it out and you've got some telltales on the on the actual mast to tell whether it's working right. So when those telltales are vertical, when they're parallel, you know that it's working. Um, so it's all based on this pulley system here. I'm going to get a few cutaway shots. We just had two dolphins alongside us. Um, going well. <laughs> Learning fast. Uh, Heading to Key Corker, change of plans. So we've got it on autopilot now. We've had a change in wind. We, were, we had a westerly wind, which was a, an offshore wind, which was really perfect for getting to, to, uh, go to for going north. It's, the wind's now gone round to the north, and um, we had to tack. And or we had the option of tacking, and tacking is where you go into the wind. So you head towards the wind, and you sort of tick tack, I suppose, tick tack to get there. And uh, Trull, the, 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 uh, the wise Viking said, a gentleman never tacks. So we're... <laughs> with the wind. So we've let the uh, Genoa sail down. We've still got the mainsail going, but we've got the motor running. 
and we're yeah we're a, we're a motorboat now. Um, this is a, the what happens when you sail. You, the, the, sometimes the wind doesn't work with you. All right, my hearties, we'll sign out there. So we're just coming to an in interesting part of the journey now. We're just passing through a very narrow channel. And uh, what's the, what's the what number of feet are we? We're seven seven feet, which is not bad for this boat. We can get down to 3.2, 3.2 feet. Uh, so but it's a very narrow channel, and uh, we're going through. And after that, smooth sailing. And um, it's all it's all about degrees and measurements. At the moment, we're on uh, autopilot, or uh, that's what you call it, autopilot. What do you call it? Autopilot. Yeah, yeah. autopilot. So we've got an autopilot. We've, we've put in our coordinates, and we're heading through the channel. And, and once we get through, it's going to be smooth sailing. All right. So behind me is Key Corker. Uh, our first stop, first day of sailing, fantastic. The weather's turned a bit cold, but it all went well. And the, the tradition that we do is we have an anchor dram. So we have a shot of a shot of whiskey, and it's interesting Slow because whiskey. In this is something special. I'll show you. All right, we're going we're going to have a a, 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 a wheat. That's so, a special one, a Norwegian. Oh, Norwegian. So it's interesting because because dram is a word that a, a Scottish word that represented a shot of whiskey, but also a hit to the head, and it may well have had Norwegian or Viking uh, roots. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But here we go. So we're we're having a shot of the. So, so that's what, what do you call it? It's like a whiskey, is it? Or? Aquavit. Aquavit. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, aquavit. The water of life. Right. Aquavita. All right, water of life. <laughs> <laughs> it is good, <laughs> strong. So we have a shot. We of... use it a lot for fresh, uh, for uh, fleshy meat yeah, at Christmas. So a shot of the uh, a shot of the aquavit, and a beer. Finish off. So maybe trolls. I should take some film when you see your reaction on it. <laughs> All right, let me let me. I'll hand you that. <laughs> right here we go. I'm going to take the shot. Just put it yeah. down. Yeah. Cheers, trolls, to the first day of first day of sailing. <laughs> yeah, here we sure. go. Ah, very very different. Not like a whiskey. I don't know how I would describe no, that. It's made on potatoes. Potatoes, so like nearly mm. like a vodka, but not not really a vodka. It's got no, quite a it's strong taste. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll finish up there, trolls. Thank you for today. It was great. <laughs> Have a good.